Ooh, look at these little crispy floaters. Mmm. Mmm, man, that looks good. That's a big book. Hey, let me send this to Jimmy. Hey, look at it. Mom, where's Jimmy at? Jimmy Houston. Look at all the elk. What? Where are you videoing? Who are you sending that to? Send it to Jimmy Houston. We're on his driveway right now. You don't think maybe he knows they're already here? He may not. So I'm, I just said. Guys, we're at Jurassic Park. He's like, get out of here. I'm trying to eat my grass. Lucy? What you doing? Let me see that tongue. Look, Daddy. Uh-huh. Her baby's coming up to you, huh? Yeah. Last time I was here, he was not that big. His horns were the same size, but... Well, they're biting right now, so y'all are able to catch them. Come on, Lucy. Got a basket there, you can put them in until you get ready to put them in your bucket. Those deer are like these in plastic. And the fish got some orange duct tape and put them until put those on his horns. He said that all the other deer is going to laugh and call him names. <laughs> like Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph the red nosed reindeer. And that's Not Milburn. A very shiny nose. That's Milburn the orange horn whitetail. Mine's a pretty little one. Ah, come on, get off of this guy. Get off of this. There we go. Hold him up here. So, what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, like the, and like this video, just like this fish did. <laughs> so today we are here at Jimmy Houston's, and we are catching some crappie. What for? For a catch, clean, and cook. That's right. We got to test out that new, or not so new, old fish cooker we remodeled, rebuilt at the house, huh? Yeah. First, after I do, before I do that. All right. That'll make the play better right there. Eh. No doubt about it. Can't get any big ones here. This is clouded. Got shady here. There ought to be some coming in right here. I wish I could destroy it. Lost another one, Houston. Did you really? Yeah, he came right Got a point on your hook? Yep. <laughs> it's about four I've lost. He was right at the top of the water when he came on. <clears throat> it's a rope. It's a friend of mine's a robot. Get this one in without losing Houston. Houston. Hope you don't. Hey, that one ain't bad at all. That's the size we need. Hey, Monty, how you doing, buddy? Fish lap. I sure will. Already? This is the way you empty them into the bucket right here. Like that. <laughs> that's, what, that's the way to empty them in the bucket. Get them out there. Get it, get it open. Get it open and you got a hole there. There you go. See how easy it is? That's easier than stomping baby chickens right there. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next morning. So we 
fished until late yesterday evening until supper time and we just didn't film a whole lot on the dock as you could see just sitting there hanging out with Jimmy and talking to Jimmy and um, you know I will say this there's a reason some guys get paid a lot of money to be professional fishermen and it's not you bear you're not the professional fisherman but Jimmy was a professional fisherman for, or has been for 40 something years, and it shows, trust me. Because Houston and I put a few crappie in the basket, but not very many. Jimmy did most of the catching, and, and they weren't just giants, but we brought home about 10 crappie to fillet up because this video wasn't really a fishing video. This is, this is a catch, clean, and cook to test out the new fish fryer. Well, not new, the old fish fryer that we restored just the other day. But uh, Jimmy and Chris, his wife, are kind of they're kind of going through a, a loss or a tragedy right now. So we just sat over there and hung out and talked to them. If you don't follow Chris and Jimmy on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere, know this: <laughs> Jim, some of you don't even know who Jimmy Houston is. He's a professional bass fisherman, been on TV for 40 years. But Chris and Jimmy have they started off with two little deer, and then now they've got this little herd of deer in their yard. But their little doe that they raised, that was, her tongue hangs out, her name's Lucy, had triplets this year. And that was several months ago. And just the other day, they lost one of their babies. Well, matter of fact, they just found the baby the, when we were there fishing yesterday. So I know it sounds silly, but it's almost like a loss of one of their pets to them. It's a big deal. So go check out their videos. They just posted a video and it shows all their little deer herd together in the yard. And Chris kind of talks through the story of what happened to their, their little baby fawn. So go check them out. Um, I know they're kind of going through a little bit of a loss. Sounds silly, but they really are going through a little bit of a loss in their family right now. They, these deer are just like their kids. And it's crazy how, how, I don't know, it's just fun going over there and playing with those deer and watching them in the yard. And uh, we love to deer hunt. Jimmy loves to deer hunt. But there's a, there's a difference in a you know it's just like raising an animal you get to know them they have a personality but they still have an intended purpose but those are pets in their yard they're just really cool so anyways i'm going to get to the crappie over here we only brought home about 10. jimmy had been telling me they've been catching 20 or 30 every evening and catching you know like one one and a half pound crappie we didn't catch any big ones so i left them on ice overnight because it just makes that meat a lot more firm easier to fillet these crappie out and we didn't have time to uh, cook them all up last night after we fished all evening. So I'm gonna knock the sides off of these things. And then in a little while, we'll fire, fire up that new fish cooker and see if it works. a little bit different than I did when I was cleaning fish <laughs> I had to trim up the beard for a big shindig this evening but so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these crappie fried up now you guys saw us restore this old fish cooker in our last video and I'm really excited to use this thing now I may or may not have cooked breakfast on this thing this morning Houston mm -hmm. how was breakfast delicious it was awesome wasn't it yeah so here's what I cooked breakfast on. This was an old disc um, off of a uh, farm implement that my dad turned into a wok. So it's a homemade wok and we fried up bacon, fried some eggs, had a little toast. Everything was cooked outside this morning, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And it was good. pretty darn good. So Look at all those eggshells. Yeah, yeah, well, we may or may not have thrown the eggshells on the ground. So we're gonna get this oil all warmed up. I'm gonna be frying these crappie in just this little Dutch oven. This isn't actually a lid, believe it or not. I restored this whole thing. Somebody gave it to me a couple years ago. This is actually a small griddle, but I just use it for a lid. I don't actually have a lid for that Dutch oven, but that cast iron really, really does a good job at frying fish. I do want to buy a good fish pot with a basket and everything 
not the cheap little junky aluminum ones that they sell everywhere nowadays, but a good one. Maybe just get a basket for that one. You want some fish? I gotta go. You gotta go. What time you gotta go? Right now. Always. That's what you always say. I gotta go. I gotta go. So, uh, are you two gonna fry the fish while I video? Yeah. No. I don't think so. We're just gonna watch you. So we're gonna be frying these these little crappie fillets in some Everglades pre-season all-purpose breading. Houston and I used this on some tilapia the other day, didn't we, Houston? This stuff was, mm, it was amazing. One of our subscribers sent this to us in the mail, and uh, that's not near enough. We're gonna have to find this stuff in bulk somewhere, like a, like a big old bucket of it. Maybe we need a sponsor. Huh. Yeah, sponsor. Hey, what do you think this is? Deer hey, meat for dinner? Hey. Well, we did True. get some of this. We got some deer meat for dinner. But that was stuff. just a fan that sent it. Yeah, somebody sent that to us. I know, but we got some of it. We bought some of it for you on your birthday once. Oh, yeah, you did. You know, That's, right. That's right. That's right. So crappie are one of my favorite freshwater fish. I mean, look at these fillets. These are just beautiful, perfect, flaky, white, amazing freshwater fish. It, when it comes to freshwater fish, it's hard to beat a crappie. But I'm telling you what, if you include the saltwater fish, frying up some snapper, some red snapper. Oh, oh that's a tight race. Hard to beat. Yep. So, Houston, um, I would say go ahead and open that bag and get some braiding on that, but... I, I don't want you wasting my my good stuff. So like the one why don't you time, let me take care like of that? Maybe you shouldn't. Like, like the hey, one. Hey, 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 maybe hey. you shouldn't. No story time. Like, oh. No story time. Like the one time you were using the walker and you had the paper right here and you went and dumped it all out. Yeah. Because <laughs> you didn't you, zip the baggie. Yeah. You didn't zip hey, it. Hey, hey. I'm the one recording this video. I have to hurry up. Our grease is up to temperature. Try to, I try to get my grease to right at 350. We're gonna call it oil. We're not gonna call it grease. Grease sounds unhealthy. We're frying fish in oil, so. so I think I'm gonna start off with a few tater tots because I want my fish to be fresh when I sit down to eat. So we're gonna start off with a few tater tots here. Good thing we offset our uh, fried fish and tater tots with green juice in the morning, you know it? Alrighty. Crappie fillets going in. I'm telling you what, this Everglade seasoning will blow your mind. I love the Louisiana fish fry mix, but this Everglades, there, mm, there's something special about it. Mm, look at these little crispy floaters. Mm. Mm. Belly is sleepy. puppies mm. this is how this is how you eat lunch right here are you mm. excited about this yeah yeah they right there mm. may not be the healthiest of lunches but it's sure tasty oh I forgot my salt so I thought I was cooking lunch for all five of us but Weston and Emily had to go ahead and leave early to go to basketball lessons and uh, so right now it's just going to be the three of us doing a little taste test on these crappie but i've got plenty more in the bowl to fry up for the other two when they get home and uh, i don't know let's go see what my wife thinks about these crappie there you go mom i don't know you're not even going to wait on anybody nope i'm going in all right give us a taste test you know you're going to dip it in ketchup mm. best tasting ketchup you've had all day huh mm, best fish i've had mm. oh my gosh it's so good like the crappie, huh? Mm-hmm. Why do we need mayo? It's not mayo. Oh, it's tartar sauce. It's not mayo, it's tartar sauce. Oh, I mean, it definitely has mayo in it, but... 
Look how crispy that is. Sound like mom cracked open a beer over there. I did not. It's my orange juice. <laughs> That's really good. What do you what do you rate it as on your one, fried fish scale? One through ten, I would probably give it a, about a seven. seven. Seven? That seems like kind of average to me. Definitely a ten for me. Mom loves the crappie. Mm -hmm. She's a crappie fan. Fine china. Apparently, we're eating on fine china today. Betcha. Yeah, betcha. See if I can get some of these tater tots without all that cheese on them. Oh. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> So as always, those crappie will not let you down. They are amazing little fish to eat. I, I'm telling you, it's hard to beat crappie when you're talking about freshwater fish. But the main goal was to test out the new fish cooker setup or new old fish cooker setup that we restored in the last video. So if you missed that, go check it out. This thing's probably at least 40 years old. And I've used it for breakfast once and fried some fish in it. For lunch today yes we are planning a big fish fry this evening for dusty's birthday and we're gonna be doing a lot of other things so i'm gonna smoke a bologna uh smoke a stick of breakfast sausage we're gonna make some jalapeno pepper poppers dj's got a big pot of beans coleslaw all kinds of things so yeah we're gonna eat fish twice today but i figure i'll be parked over here frying fish for 45 minutes or an hour at least so i was gonna sit down and enjoy some fish because I'm sure this evening I'll be cooking. So this thing works great. There are a few modifications I want to do to it. Um, it has nowhere to put accessories. So spatulas or, you know, tongs or anything. I really think we want to add on to it and put some countertop space on the sides and then maybe move it over there where we can put, put a sink on the side of it. I don't know. A lot of plans, but I don't know if it'll happen anytime soon. Maybe one of these days, but yeah. So this thing, works great i've always wanted something good well built strong sturdy better than the little portable fish fryers that you buy at sporting goods stores that just i'm afraid gonna get knocked over with all that hot grease this is not gonna get knocked over so anyways guys uh special thanks to jimmy houston for letting us come over and catch some crappie out of his private lake and uh like i said we're having a huge not huge we're having a big family and friend fish fry tonight for my brother-in-law's birthday old dusty baker if you watch dusty on youtube go check him out or go tell him uh daniel sent, said uh happy birthday happy birthday from the best brother-in-law around i guess maybe but yeah dusty is cross timbers bison on youtube and facebook and he's got that little bison farm so it's his birthday gonna have fish fry a lot of people a lot of fish so yeah i'm gonna go get ready for that so guys i hope you enjoyed the crappie catch clean and cook video and uh, mostly just testing that thing out so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video